Oh, it is freaking cold. I'm wearing pants. I never wear pants. I wear shorts. Hey, turtle nerds. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to cover a really fun topic as to whether or not I think that turtles make good pets. I'm just going to talk about general things that you guys should consider before getting turtles. If you're thinking about getting one, this is going to be a good video to help you prepare and make a proper informed decision whether a turtle would be right for you as a pet. Before we get started with today's video, my classes end in two weeks. So soon I'm going to be able to dedicate a lot more time to to the channel so if you want to show your support please hit the subscribe button and make sure to head over to my patreon there's going to be a link right up here and in the description that's where you can directly support the channel and get exclusive access to all kinds of behind the scenes content and whatnot and now that like i said school is ending i'm going to be pumping out way more content over there i'm also going to be having merch so as soon as that comes out it's going to be available to patrons first with all that being said let's head on inside to see some of the awake members of my little turtle squad Ah, nice and toasty inside. If you guys are new to the channel, this is my room. I have a whole bunch of turtles. I got a rack set up here, some hatchling terrapins down here, Chinese box turtle, and a spotted turtle right up here. There actually is, there's jelly basking right there, actually. To be perfectly honest, I'm gonna say that it takes a particular type of person to enjoy a turtle as a pet. Most people want a pet that they can cuddle and snuggle and hold and interact with a lot. Turtles might not do that as much and some species of turtle make better pets because they're more interactive than others but some like my little Quora Beretti here they just hide all the time and you'll never see them. So it's important to know what species of turtle you want to choose when discussing whether or not they would be a good fit for you. One of the first things to consider about turtles is that they are a lifelong commitment. They will live most species like 40 years or something crazy like that. Once we start talking about tortoises forget it they live like really long. Is that a bug? Okay, so the number one thing to consider besides, you know, how old they get, besides like very few species that I've covered in previous videos, they get big, like really big. So if you're going to buy a hatchling turtle, for example, one of my cute little, little baby terrapins down here, if you're going to get a little hatchling turtle, be it a readier slider, map turtle, painted turtle, whatever you're getting, don't think of it as a hatchling. How am I going to do an enclosure now? Think about in a year, in two years, when it becomes the size of a dinner plate, what type of enclosure am I going to keep for it? If you only have a 20, 30 gallon tank, that's really not going to cut it for a full size turtle. Almost any species that I can think of at maximum size. You gotta have a game plan, you know? So I personally built the pond. So that way, in case all of my turtles get older, they get bigger, I have plenty of space, resources, whatever, to just build them something outside and give them a home. If you're living in something like an apartment though, it might be more difficult to provide them like nice space, but it doesn't mean that it's impossible. I have a 75 gallon tub here. It's nicely in the corner of my room and that could comfortably house like an adult terrapin or a lot of species of adult turtles. So it's not impossible to do. It's just make sure that you have a game plan for a setup. So number one, turtles get big. Number two, they live for a super long time. Number three, they can be super messy eaters, especially aquatic species. So you need to make sure that you have really good filtration or you're doing water changes consistently to avoid any nasty smells. I actually talk about some factors that will make a turtle tank smell right up here. So if your turtle tank is stanky, go check that out. So if you're not careful and you don't have good filtration and you're not making sure that you are taking some steps to ensure that the water quality stays clean, the turtles can end up making a mess and it can end up smelling. Personally, some things that I do to avoid that is by feeding in a separate enclosure. For me though, it's a total lifesaver. It really, really helps reduce the amount of maintenance that I have to do because it means that the only solid material going inside the filter is gonna be like, like turtle waste pretty much, not just uneaten food and any other garbage that's in there. I don't have to change the filters very often at all because of that. I'm dealing with like 20 turtles here. So just dealing with one, it's super doable, I think. And the final thing that we're gonna talk about is that some turtles are not really interactive. So let's go take a look at some of my turtles for an example. Just down here, and we've got my most personable species. We have the baby terrapins. They're gonna come over, they're gonna beg. We can play around with them. I can drop food in here and watch them eat it. You know, these guys are a very, very, very nice species. That's why they're my favorite. They're super, super friendly. They'll swim over to you and they do this all day and it's just really freaking adorable. And now if we take a look at my Quora Beretti, this is my Barrett's box turtle just hiding underneath this little cork bark. That's all he really does. He doesn't usually come to beg. He doesn't usually follow my finger. 
him around, he just sits in this little thing. So we can see like the total dichotomy we have here. The friendly, friendly, lovely, begging terrapins, and the box turtle who just sits and does nothing. And then we have like a little bit of an in-between. We got a little Otis there, not focusing of course, and Jelly right over there, both Kind of like the in-between as far as pet turtles go. You can get the super personable, the non-personable, or the kind of friendly, kind of personable turtle. If I wiggle my finger here, he's gonna take notice and he's gonna come out because he thinks it's a worm and he thinks that it's food time. If I do the same thing with Jelly, who is already out, he could not care less about my hand. So I think that turtles really don't make good pets because of these reasons. They get really big, so they require a lot of space. They can be super messy. You really have to know what you're getting yourself into and have like a game plan as far as what your final setup will be when your turtle is an adult. The turtle girl I think has like some ideal setups for adult turtles. It's like the perfect balance between being able to like view and enjoy and see them while also having the turtle be comfortable. She has some really nice aquarium setups. I personally like to do ponds and tubs and whatnot just because it's cheaper, more affordable for me and I have more turtles so I like I can't just make like nice nice display tanks all the time. That's what I did with these guys here. Other than that, I just keep them in concrete mixing tubs because it's way more practical for keeping on a larger scale. When you have fewer animals, you can focus on making some nice, nice setups. I'm tired of standing. Let's keep thinking. Um, wow, we're throwing it back to like when I, this is how I used to do it in my, in my dorm, like this exact type of setup. That's funny. So personally, I don't think turtles make great pets. You just, you have to know what you're getting yourself into. Oh, that's right. They live for a very, very long time. They're a lifelong commitment. You have to have enough space for them. You have to make sure that their water quality is good and that you're feeding them good foods and that you can afford vet visits if need be. So sometimes like your turtle will be super cheap, like a $10 red ear slider maybe. But if they get a respiratory infection, that's going to be like a hundred to $200 at the vet. And that's for an animal that you can't really like cuddle or hold, but I get to do this with my little terrapins. So personally, I freaking love them, but it's not right for everyone. Some people will want like a cuddly little bunny or like a little hamster. Personally, I could not imagine taking care of something that pees. Like, turtles do urates. I just think it's different. I just, eh, icky. I don't like, I don't like you can handle your turtles a little bit and sort of just take a look at them and see how they're how they're doing. Do a little health check, make sure that they all look good. And then you're definitely gonna wanna let them go because they can get stressed out easily. So you can handle your turtles. I just don't recommend doing it that often. It brings zero pleasure to them and it's really just for you. Turtles also require special lighting. They need UVA and UVB radiation. I go over that in this video up here. But basically some of their equipment can be kind of expensive. Unless you use the sun like I do, but getting carried away. So yeah, that's just some things to consider before you go ahead and get yourself a, a turtle or you decide that you want a turtle as a pet. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I I forgot to make a an outro and now I'm editing and it's like nine o'clock, 7.30 on a Friday and I have to get this out. So thanks for watching, goodbye.